Hey, Mustang Stampede here. Um, replacing a Whirlpool dryer heater element. We recently just came back from Gatlinburg and my wife was catching up the laundry and she's like, hey, the dryer's not heating anymore. It's like, well, if the dryer's not heating, the heating element probably went bad. This is an older dryer. So I basically, I took it all apart and um, pulled out the old heating element, which is right here. This is the new one. Uh, when I looked through some videos, it wasn't I wasn't real sure on how to check because I didn't necessarily see a straight busted coil to in, indicate that this was no longer good and had a short in it. So what you can do is, I'm actually gonna show you on the new one so you understand what's going on. Then we'll do the bad one and I'll show you where the bad one, I actually did figure finally figure out where the bad one had shorted out at. So you just basically need a voltmeter or whatever you want to call it, voltmeter. And you can set it to, um, this is a continuity with tone. So at that point you basically just touch red and black here. It's gonna be a little hard for me to do and hold the phone. And you should hear a tone if there's continuity. So let me get the black one on. All right, so there, the black one is just on there and I'll touch the red one right here. And you have a tone. Okay, so that means that's a there's continuity all the way through that. Likewise, you can put it on ohms of resistance or ohms. Um, we'll say 0.1 there, and there's your ohm. We'll go back to the bottom there, put it on the black, black on the bottom, touch the red one here, and we're getting 5.7, 5.6, whatever. I think it's supposed to read anything above zero to like maybe 50 or something like that. Not 100% sure, but anyway, it shows that we have continuity through there, okay? Or uh, I guess it would show that we have resistance through that wire, I don't know. I, I just wouldn't write for the continuity with tone, right? <laughs> so anyway, um, now for the old one here. I'll just turn this around. I'll put the black one in the bottom like I did on the other side. And then I'll touch the top and you'll see on the ohms of resistance it just says one like there's it's not it doesn't register anything okay so then I'm gonna switch it to re the continuity with tone and touch the top again and we have no tone and it does nothing okay so while why I was confused at first was that I couldn't see where this coil was broken anywhere. Um, I could see like a crack on the plate from the heat, but then I started just touching each coil and then I found the broken coil was right here. And so basically where it broke at was right there inside that insulator. And I couldn't, so if you just look at that, you can't tell that there's a broken coil. So as I was putting my finger on each one there, it popped up. A little bit off of that insulator and then I could tell that's exactly where it broke at all right so as far as the dryer piece goes you basically use a quarter inch um, socket or nut driver or whatever you want to use take the whole big back pan back panel off your dryer and look for um, a square heating element with um, something like this sticking out of the side and that circle hole there is where you'll put your, it's like a, a thermostat and it's setting down with my dryer. So basically you get this all out and unplug it, order a new one and put it back in. Now there's plenty of videos on that, but this was the most troublesome part that I had because I kept trying to test this and I'm like, well, it doesn't appear to have it. continuity, but I don't see any broken coil. And that wasn't until I started pressing on all the coils and it popped up out of the insulator like that. So then I knew it was the bad one. So anyway, this is again, this is a Whirlpool dryer, um, pretty standard. Uh, I see that most the Maytag Whirlpool, Kenmore and stuff use something like this. And I'll add to this video when I get down there um, briefly and just show you the other pieces that need to go on there. All right, so here's the back of the dryer. 
all right so make, make sure you unplug your dryer all right it's 220 240 whatever you want to say so if you go in here messing around uh, don't shock yourself but anyway uh, my back panels off like I said and here's the new heating element and it actually slides up right here into that panel okay and then you can see where it will blow the heat into the dryer right there or take in air and blow it out but you have a thermostat here and I have a thermostat right there that's going to go on the uh, side of this heating element and then I'll just plug the wires back in mine only had basically two wires um, that one went on went on the thermostat here and then went on to the heating element and what that looked like was this so basically you have the thermostat it has a hole on, on one side and a wire connector on this side and it just basically went on let's see if I can figure this out I think I have it backwards here it basically went on like this then onto that connector right there okay so that's that's what that looks like and then basically after that it's just all reassembling and uh, screwing it back in and giving it a test run so anyway any questions any concerns you can leave a comment and I'll try and answer them the best I can and I'll uh, I'll actually in the description I'll leave the model number um, and the part number that you'll need for this dryer. As always, thanks for watching.